What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever. And I tell you, this series has really grown on me, I gotta be fair. At the beginning I was kind of skeptical, like, mm, will we make money and all that? But I'm also about to get hit by a train. <laughs> ah, mild bit of a glitch there. Just thought I'd show you a train going past, I thought that was pretty cool over that level crossing. Or what do they call it, a railroad crossing? I don't know, something like that. But yeah, this series has really started growing, growing on me. Now we're making money, it's actually much more enjoyable. And talking of which, I'm going to buy a new train for this line here. The uh, Bridgewater line. Because if we look at the uh, money, it's making us... Well, it's pretty much joint first. It keeps swapping back and forth with the Manhattan Bronx line. And all we need to do, really, is increase the capacity. So what are we running on here? We are running Borsigs with five carriages. Okay, we got 900,000. I think we should be able to afford that. Where's the depot? There it is. So let's go down by here. Sorry for my voice today, by the way. I've got a Qatar cough. I've always seemed to have cold recently. It's really annoying. So we want a Borsig. 220,000 down the pan already. Which cars are we using? That is a good question. I think we were using these, but these are very expensive. One, two, three, four. We just need 50,000 more, and then we can buy another one. So, let's speed it up a bit. And there we go. There's five, and it's coming up to the end of the year. I'm just going to let it play right through. And take it slow, and hopefully when we need to buy something else, we'll have the money for it. So, this is going on this line here. We now have three trains, and our capacity should have gone up to 120, I believe? Where is it? Yeah, 120. So when this train reaches its first stop, when it stops freezing... Come on, autosave. Oh, we got a new train, new car, and a new carriage. So the state car, so we can actually look at these, and we got the DMG Canstat. Never heard of that, but looks pretty quick, so hopefully we can start using them pretty soon. So buy trains. The KLM 220, 37 miles per hour. Uh, got quite a lot of. Uh, where's the running power? Yeah, 75 kilonewtons, that's a fair amount. That's a fairly decent trip. Whoa, it's 1.1 million quid, I just noticed that. Jesus. Okay, let's not use that for a while then, until we have a lot more money building up. But yeah, I think the next couple of episodes are just going to be improving lines and getting more money. So, up here, I think the food line needs another train. Actually, yeah, look at that. Look at all the food building up there. So what are we running on the food line? Ooh, I'm going to use a new feature on the new interface. If you click a station, it shows you the lines. So if you click that one, and then the line pops, so you don't have to click the train and do it that way. I, I do love this new interface. It's so much better. We just need to add some more carriages to this, so pause. Ah, oh, no, I need to get to the station first. So I said pause. Oh, well. So you are full. Where are you? Uh, you are here. Ah, uh, okay. So I think on the way back we need to catch this. That's annoying. Um, okay. We can, we can definitely do that. And while we're waiting, uh, we got no money. What I was going to say is while we're waiting, we'll get another train for it, but we haven't got the money, really. I think three trains would be enough for now. How's our supply and demand doing? It is at 2%. <laughs> yeah, that's not as good as I thought it would be. In fact, that is terrible. Oh, well. So... We're running D13s with... Oop, zoomed in a bit far then. Let's, how much will this cost just in the ballpark by trains? So 123,000 plus we're running goods wagons. So five of that, that'd be 600,000 or give or take. Uh, yeah. Uh, it'd be seven to 800,000. So, hmm. We just need that other train to get back towards a depot. Right, I'm going to turn off these down arrows. So, you off. Oh, I can't wait to get this. This map is going to be so amazing soon. 
I'll tell you what, let's ride it. Why not? Should we go third person for one side? I like I do like going first person, but I think I do do it excessively. So if we just have a ride along here. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a bit. Um, whatever the word is. <laughs> so across the road. It's coming up to this bridge here. I remember putting this in. This was quite expensive. I think it was like 800,000 altogether or something like that. So it's going over what I believe is the Hudson. So Cactus 5049, that uh, Sully burger plane went down somewhere along here. I, I think that this is the Hudson, not entirely sure. And it comes chuffing over, it's so slow, I can't, be, I can't give it to her. Like, it's on full speed and it's still traveling very slowly. Yeah, let's go first person for a bit. It's very, very barren, this map. Well, that's one of the main problems with Transport Fever. The maps are very barren. But like, even if you put it on the highest settings and you have a good computer, it still won't load in more trees. I think that's something they need to address. Like, you should be able to have, like, a slider. So if you have a powerful computer, you can just go, yeah, yeah, I want all the vegetation everywhere. But if your computer's not so great, you can have it, like, medium. If you've got a really low spec computer, you can just turn off the vegetation or have it really low or something. We're about to cross this other train on the Girder Bridge. That's cool. So it comes around here, crosses the other train right in the middle of the bridge. Look at that. And we're coming up towards the station now in a minute. So let's go third person again. Let's attach to the train. And. Yeah, now the timing here has got to be pretty good because I wanted to actually no I don't need to pick up any food so just slow it down and when it is just about to pull into the station I'm going to flip it around and send it to the depot so as it crosses this point I'm going to say go to depot and about now heading for depot yeah, that's what we wanted speed it up a little bit well, a lot actually. And it'll come across here and into the depot, hopefully. Yep. And if we click this depot, we should see the train come in. And we want by trains. We want, where are the D13 carriages? Uh, the goods wagons, even. Uh, we want one, two, three. Set line all. Manhattan food, that one. And now we got two five car carriages, that's perfect. So the food line should be a little more profitable now. Actually, what's it making? I didn't think of checking that. So food line is, where is it, where is it? Uh, there it is. That's making a 70,000. Where's the, I can't remember what it's called, the line that brings the food there. Um, Syracuse Livestock, that's actually losing us money. That's surprising. I know why. It's because this platform is too full, so this has stopped producing, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah, very low production because the platform is full. We, we definitely need to do some work on that line. But first, let's check out whether this second, uh, third train has made much of a difference. So, oh, come on. Wouldn't move then. No? Hmm. Still making... In fact, it's going down the profit. Yeah, we need to ramp up the trains on there. So, what should we do? Thing is, we got money, but not enough to do like a major, major project or anything. So, uh, just out of interest, how much would it be to upgrade this line to something faster? Replacement, so we'd want... We don't want them. <laughs> that would that would be like five million. And uh, what about what about these? Add and goods wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How much will that cost? Well, it's one point four million per vehicle. I'm going to guess two million. One point six. Mm. Certainly doable, it'll just take like a fair bit of time to do. Should we do that? Or should we wait a bit? 
Um, hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Definitely you have to give that some thought. I think we'd be better off just trying to get this line as profitable as it can be for a while. Like, to try and roll some more trains out. So, I don't think we've got enough yet. I'm going to pause it on the 31st. June. Yeah, I think it's 31 days in June. Uh, what are we running? What are we running? That's a good question. I literally just checked this 10 minutes ago. Uh, what's the date? 26th. Uh, no, T. P. There it was. Oh, one of them's running full. Yeah, Borsigs with five carriages. So I'm going to pause it net. There's only 30 days in June. That's not right, surely. Well, that's annoying. Borsig, so can't even afford that yet, but we're getting there. Come on, 130. How much are they? 220. We should get that in no time, I hope. 190. Come on, 30 grand. And there we go. And we need Bavarian cars. And we haven't got enough yet. Okay, I'm going to come back at the end of the month. I'm going to pause on the 28th this time because I don't trust the days in the month on here. So, I, lo I love it when you turn the down arrows off because you just see little bits of green popping up here and there. It's brilliant. Like down in these cities, mine, so huge. Look at that. Syracuse has merged with them. So, yeah, that they're definitely, definitely growing. Right, we've got some more money now. We've got 300,000. So, we want by trains. We want Bavarian cars. One, two. Can we get a third by the end of the month? Come on. You know you want to. Ah, no. Not happening. That's annoying. That is annoying. Oh, well. It won't take that long to get some more money. Uh, just leave that on the side for now. Why not? Why not? Oh my god. There's more food on this platform than there was before. How's that work? 260 food. Like, Jesus. So, uh, I don't know whether to buy more trains because then it'll be more expensive to upgrade them and we desperately need to upgrade them. Um... Uh, that is... I know, there's some very tough decisions to make in this game. Meanwhile, look at all the passengers at this station. That's like 140 people there, 150. Uh, yeah, near enough. And what's the station up here? Like, I probably could have done this faster if I zoomed out a bit. This has got uh, 72. So, yeah, these lines are doing... They're definitely doing better. I wouldn't say they're doing brilliantly just yet, but they're definitely going strong. It's just I cannot wait so we, that we have... Uh, I can't wait until the point where we have so much money we can just be like, yeah, I want another train. And we don't have any worries or anything. But we're definitely close. Ah, oh, come on. I don't think we're going to make this. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, please. Ah, oh, damn. We was like 10 grand short. So we got three carriages. I'm not going to send it out yet because then it'll just be hassle to get it back into the platform. I think it'd be better just to buy the train out, right? That's that's my thinking anyway. This construction line definitely needs another train. Uh, this, eh, that's kind of okay, I suppose. Uh, how's the construction line doing? Uh, what's it called? TF. Con map, there it is. Making 200,000. It's carrying three. Seriously? Why the hell is it carrying three? Okay, something's off about that. Are we meeting the demands? No. Nope. 3% there. And uh, Manhattan is not getting. Oh, no, it's getting 2%. Okay, something is wrong with that line. And I will sort that out in a second. But first, we're going to get some trains. Uh, buy trains. 
Bavarian car. Bye. Will we be able to get another one? I reckon we will. I'm fairly sure we will, actually. I think we're going to get another one by the end of the month. Come on. Keep going strong. Yeah, we will. I hope. There we go. And we now have another train. So this line will become even more profitable. So it's that line. Right. Construction materials. What is wrong with this line up here? They're not running full. Um, what could it be? Like, seriously. Where's one of the... Is that a Conmat train or a passenger? I think that's passenger. Yeah, it is. Um, there's a Conmat train. So, pause. You. Actually, no. Where's the next one? Is there one up near the platform? Yes, there is. There's one just pulled out. This better be carrying something. Tw right, 20 of 20. I think what we just need to do is upgrade this tra these trains, maybe buy another one, so replacement, that's a borsig, what would it be to just add some, oh no, cancel, to just add some uh, carriages on, so what are these state, we could get bigger state cars, but then they're a heck of a lot more, look at the price difference, 125, 386, yeah, that's a big, big difference. So let's just go one, two, three. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, eight. So replace now. How much will that cost? A million quid. Like, wow. Okay, maybe not. What if we just went no, no, come on, no. Replace now. Will that be any better? 500. Okay, we're going to do that. We can, we'll get that pretty quickly. So let's just run it on full speed. We don't need to follow you anymore. Uh, we don't need you anymore. Just pop that in the corner. How much was it? 500 and... Let's call it 550. So, I'm going to say no more spending now. Just get 550. We're going to upgrade those trains. Okay, guys. So, I just noticed the problem. The Conway... Uh, Coney Island to Howard Bay line is broken. Uh, why is that broken? That's, and it's losing us a vast amount of money as well. That is why it's broken. Uh, we need to fix that badly. Bad, like really badly. So we need a road that goes... Uh, can we get it to go under? No, over. Yeah, that is hideous. Uh, and that won't work either. Okay, so... I'm going to have to bring it out and around like that. And then get in. No, not like that. Come on, behave. Down. Ah, oh, 200,000. That's not going to help us with the savings. Uh, but we have to do it. Oh, we're nearly there, actually. Oh, wow. That was good. Right, build that, build that, bulldoze. I know this is hideous, but sometimes you just have to make compromises. So now this entire line should start working again. Yeah, look at that. And hopefully this will come flying back into profits. I'm glad I noticed that. I only noticed it because I was looking at the profits and something just didn't seem right. Because I can't remember which year it was. I think it was the one that just... No. Somewhere there's a discrepancy. I was looking at the profits. I can't be bothered to go through all that again. But we're making a decent sum of money. Let's say last year, for example, we spent 850,000 there. Uh, new vehicles, 1.9 million. So let's call that just under 2 million. And we only lost 200. So we're making about 1.75 million, call it. And yeah, what, what else is losing us money? This is losing us money for some reason. The Syracuse livestock. Oop, pause right at the end of the month uh we haven't got enough to replace this yet but who cares i'll come back to that i'll just I'll, I'll have to remember to come back to that so zoom out a bit and why is the this line losing us money i'm guessing it's something to do with the age of the vehicles oh wow these are 40 years old on the <laughs> i think that needs an upgrade replacement uh no we don't want to use that we want 
what do we want? What about these? No, they're... Oh, I guess Lao Bissons are the best we got. How much will it be? I'm guessing a lot. <laughs> wow. 2.81 million. Okay. That is... Jesus Christ. Why the heck is that so expensive? How many vehicles? Oh, 150. Wow, I was not expecting that. Gee whiz, it'd be cheaper to upgrade this line. In fact, that's what I'm going to have a look at now. Replacement. Uh, yeah, how much would it be to replace with them now? 500,000. Ah. Right. Okay, so all of our lines are massively outdated and we can't afford to upgrade them. Like, ouch, that is... Uh, are there any lines we can afford to upgrade? I don't want to waste this 240,000. So, Tottenville, we could upgrade them, but they're losing money just because they haven't got the passengers. Why have... Where's Tottenville? That's the one down here by Woodbridge, isn't it? Why haven't they got any passengers? I think we just got too many. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. Vehicles, vehicles. One... Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All of these are going to the depot and being sold. So, I'll tell you what, let's play it, might as well. Go to the depot, go to the depot, go to the depot, be sold. Depot. Oh, come on. Oh, we got a new vehicle. It is the Landauer. That is a passenger vehicle, I think. Oh, that's already been sent to the depot. You, depot. You, oh, turned you around. Didn't mean to do that. Depot. You, depot. You, depot. We can always put these back on if and when this line starts making money. I think for now we should just be focusing on maximising profit. So are all these heading to the depot? Oh, yes, they are. That should give us a little boost of income because they'll get a fair bit of money when they get sold. And, right, what other lines are there which are losing us money? Midtown Freight and Manhattan Freight. Uh, okay, I have a solution for this. Where is... Do you know, I am so tempted just to get rid of this construction material line. What's the catchment of just the line? Where would it be? There it is. So, that's catching, like, barely any industry. And so is... Well, that's catching a fair bit, actually. Um, no, I'm just going to send it to the depot, because it's not making a massive amount of money. So, you... Uh, go to the depot and be sold, and go. I know I put a lot of work into this line. I can always put it back later when we got some more money. So I think for now we'll just have a passenger empire. So where is we want R F? Got a lot of lines in it. Come on, geez, scroll a bit faster. Right, R F Manhattan Freight. Uh, Go to the depot will be sold. You go to the depot will be sold. And both of you go. So we should get a nice little boost to our cash when these all get sold. But one thing I do want to check is whether both the trains can actually get to the depot. Yeah, you see, he's going up the wrong line. That is... That is problematic. Uh... Okay, why are you stopped? Waiting for free path. Wait, oop. Waiting for free path. Uh. Okay. That's actually a good thing though, because now this train, which is going the wrong way, should be able to make it all the way into the depot. And then when it gets there, we'll sort it out afterwards. So, come on. Hurry up. And it's on full speed, so I can't do nothing about that. Meanwhile, Brooklyn GF. Yeah, that can go. So, 
Uh, there it is. You go to the deck won't be sold. Get rid of the line. Um, South Shore has no vehicles for some reason. And so, but South Shore one's not exactly making a massive profit, so just leave that for now. Woodbridge, we could probably get rid of a few vehicles off Woodbridge. Right, yeah, now that's working. That's all it was. That train was going the wrong way. And they go, oh, wow, we got a million quid. Well, let's wait for this game. We should have even more. And then we can upgrade some lines. That is exactly what we wanted. A massive boost to our cash. That is peachy. So let's pause it there. We've got nearly two million. Wow. So what should we upgrade? Oh, I'm so tempted to upgrade this. Replacement. What's that new one we had? The land hour? 12 miles an hour, 6 passengers, 5 passengers, 11. How much would it be to upgrade that? <sighs> wow. Okay. Um, is that making a profit now? No, it's still not. But it will take some time. How much was it just to upgrade with land... with... Uh, La Bissance. Uh I've lost the line now. Like we got nearly two million. I definitely don't want to go let that go to waste. So, what if you were La Obisans? Replace now. That's still two point eight million. Wow. Okay, I think in the food line then. Definitely. Uh, what are these? How much would it? How much was it to upgrade this? I'm losing track of all how much it costs to upgrade all these lines now. So Borsig with five, replace now. Uh, okay, that's cheaper than I thought it would be. So we want some goods wagons, one, uh, six. Yeah. What about eight, how much is that? Probably a heck of a lot more than I'm expecting. Yeah, okay, let's go with six. Replace now. 700,000, I can live with that. So they're gonna get replaced as soon as they get to the station. And where is, there's a train. Uh, they're D13 still, so how much is it to upgrade the, uh, this to a board? Actually, is that a D13? That's not, is it? That's a G3. Uh, no, let's just go with a Borsig for now. So Borsig, yeah, add. And how much is that? 1.3 million. Uh, we're close. Play. If we can get that, we're going to do it. If not, we're not. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So come on. I'm going to pause it on the 28th because I don't know how many days. No, we can't do that. Okay, let's try six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Replace now. 800,000. Deal. And we've got 350,000 left. Let's play it. See if we can get enough for another train. Nope. Oh well, I think we did, I think that money was constructive then. So now, if I zoom into this station here and change the camera so it looks a bit better. When this train up here comes in, it should automatically get replaced. So that should look pretty cool. So it's coming down. It'll stop around here, I would have thought. So come on, lovely new replacement vehicle coming up. Oh, what? Oh, it was already running for so that's why it was so cheap. Ah, well. Still, well, we got 300,000 again, so that is pretty uh, pretty special. So, let's have a look. No, not enough to buy a new train, is it? Okay, let's just keep trying to improve our lines. Uh, we want this one. Is it going to come back? It's losing us half a million a year. And I think it's just because the age of the vehicles. Uh, what can we do about that? Um, what if we downgrade? As daft as that sounds, I think that might be the solution. Uh, pause it there. Just two million. Like, seriously, game. Jesus. Why is that so blooming expensive? I don't know. It must be the amount of vehicles we got on there. Um, damn. Um, 
what can we do about it? We can always re like get rid of some vehicles and try again, but is that the way to go? We're at half capacity. Um, uh, what can we do about that? Right, okay. This is the lazy way, but I don't know. Is I think this might be the way to go. So let's find this line. That is it there. <laughs> Might regret this. Go to the depot and be sold. Damn, I'm gonna regret this. Play. <laughs> we're gonna. There's gonna be so much. We're gonna hopefully get a massive influx of money from these being sold now. I hope to God that's what's gonna happen. So let's give it a while to get into the the uh, depot, and then let's just buy some more vehicles for it. So here they come. I must control this camera a little bit better. Oh, come on, move. Why isn't the camera moving? <clears throat> Are we gonna get a massive influx of cash now? Well, they're getting sold for 200 quid. That's not particularly good. But when you've got 150 of them, that quickly makes up. It's gonna take a while for them all to get in the depot though, isn't it? Got a horrible Qatar cough, sorry about that. That's why my voice is a bit meh today. So come on, all of you get sold. Where the hell are you going? God knows. And let's just start buying some more vehicles for that line. God, look at them all rolling down here. Massive cluster of them up by here. So we want, where's the depot down here? Let's just buy as many as we can. So, should we go for Landowers? Yeah, go on. So just keep buying them, keep, keep buying them. Out of money, how much are they? 26, buy another one. Don't know how many that is, but meh. And will we be able to get another one? I think we will. So, 26. Come on. Before the end of the month, please. There we go. <coughs> And let's just set all these on, oop, there it was, come on, uh, that one isn't it, yes it is, are they doing it, I hope I set, I think I clicked the right line, let's just check, yep, frequency 6 minutes, we got 28 vehicles on there, and these all come rolling out now, and I hope that was the right decision, that's all I can say, because I think 2.8 million. The only other solution would have been to get rid of the line, but then, nah, I didn't really want to do that. That used to be very profitable. In fact, that's one of the lines that kickstarted us into building all these train lines and everything. So I think we did some justice for it. Talking of train lines, how is this one doing? Uh, where is it? Hopefully at the top. Yep, there it is. 900,000 a year. Oh, million. It just hit a million. That is peachy. That is very, very nice. I don't know whether to keep expanding the line or just put more trains on it so this line is making us absolutely millions for when we do expand it. I mean, I suppose we could go as far as Bayonne now, but Jersey City and Manhattan, that is going to be expensive as hell. Excuse the French, but it really is. But that's just going to be so expensive. It's unreal. Oh, is there anything we can do with this 320,000? Can't really buy a new train. Um, whilst losing us, oh, I said I'd look at that, the Woodbridge lines, didn't I? Uh, I think they just got too many vehicles on them, to be fair. Yeah, look at the, okay. So, I'm going to play. Vehicles, vehicles. So, one of these has 11. I think it's the blue line. Is it? Uh, yes, it is. So, we want to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And go to the death, will be sold. Go to the death, will be sold. Go to the death, will be sold. Sold. Be sold. Be set free, my pretties. Oh, 
Did I click it? No, I did not. Go to the death will be sold. And go to the death will be sold. There you go. That's all of them. No, it's not. There's one behind. No, there's not. Uh, yeah, that's all of them. Get rid of them. And now that should start making us at least less of a loss. Hopefully a profit. So what else can we fix? Tottenville, we've already done. Oh, this, I didn't get rid of enough on the Woodbridge line. So you... Go to the death boat, would be sold. I don't care if you have a full load. I probably should have picked a different one if it had a full load, but meh. Right, why is South Shore not got any vehicles on it? Where's the other South Shore line? There it is. That's actually making us profit. Only, oh, I remember. It's because we ran out of money, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we want this. We want by road vehicles. What are they using? I'm guessing that or the sons. One, two, three, four, five. Set line all, and this is going to be South Shore 2. Yeah, South Shore 2. And close. Wow, we got 400,000. That is, that is pretty good. Let's start buying another train for this line. So, by, uh, by, uh, by train. Try that again. So, we want... Borsigs, I think, I hope, I don't care. Bavarian car, we want one, that's all we can buy for now. And no, we're not gonna get another one. Let's just leave that in the depot till we get some more money. And let's go have a look up here towards Manhattan. This is like the main part of the map where everything's happening. Like how big, I think it's like our five biggest cities are here. Which isn't really surprising. Uh, no, what do I want? I want cities and sort by population. What's the smallest actually? Flatbush. Oh, we can fix that later. Look, 2,000, well, essentially 2,400 in Jersey City. Hobbicon is 1,600. And Lower Manhattan's next with a staggering 1,260. Midtown, which is that up there. That's got 1,260 as well. It's like one population difference between these two. And downtown Brooklyn, which is this, that's 1,160. Elizabeth is over here, actually. Uh, there. That's next. That's like the old one out. And then Syracuse. So, yeah. We've got some pretty damn big cities going on. I am just worried that in a few years, it, like game time, my graphics card will be struggling majorly. That is my biggest fault with this game, is the performance on it is so... Like, it lags GTX 1080 graphics cards, which if you don't know what that is, it's like the god of graphics cards. Like, there are better ones, but they're like five grand, so yeah, that's kind of... Ooh. Uh, depot, let's pause it there. And get some more carriages. Can we get two? Yes, we can. One, two. So we just need to buy two more now. And we're not going to get it this month, I doubt. There's always the chance. Oh, yeah, that was cl definitely climbing faster than I thought it would. I gotta be fair. I love the way our running costs are now 300,000 a month. Like, that is very expensive. I don't know how accurate the ratio to running costs is. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. We need to get rid of this line here. That is a good point. So you, Bronx Stone, I'm sorry, but you guys... Uh, no, you need to do it from here, don't you? Uh, it's orange. It should be pretty easy to spot. There it is. Uh, Bronx Stone. Sorry, guys, but you're going. And get rid of... Oop. My mouse has been very finicky today. And which line is this? Yeah, that one can also uh, tara and get rid of the line. I think we're just doing mainly general maintenance today, so to get rid of those windows. Let's have a look at our lines now. This is still losing us money for some strange reason. God, look at the capacity, it's gone right down. I think we might have to get rid of this line, which is something I didn't think would happen. But then that presents another problem, because we Coney Island would be essentially shut off. 
So the only way we could get past that would be to do the branch line out to Bay Ridge and Coney Island. Or do we do the line from Manhattan? Because the other line, the, the Howard Bay line, no, not Howard Bay, Bridgewater line, is coming through Jersey City, Hobbiton, and coming in this end of the station. We could have another line extending out of this end of the station that goes outskirts of Brooklyn, through Flatbush, which needs to grow, then to Coney Island, then have like a branch to Bay Ridge or whatever. Um, I'm thinking that's the way to go when you consider that this line comes into these platforms here, so we got no outside. Well, I suppose we could probably put another one on. Uh, so, how many tracks has this got? Two, four, five. So, if we put six on, yeah, we could put six on. But that's a bit meh. I don't know. That is definitely something to ponder. Pause it there. As you know, we don't need to pause it. We're at the beginning of the month. Wow. And we want the depot, and we want by trains, variant cars, one, two, and this is going to go on this line here. This line is hopefully going to make us a killing. If it doesn't, we are all screwed, <laughs> essentially. So there you go. Where's your first stop going to be? Come on. Your first stop is going to be Piscataway. I don't know if that's the next stop. I think it is. Yes, it is. That's all right. It's weird because sometimes they'll go right to the end of the line. So, yeah, this line, what's it making now? It is making a, wow, one and a quarter million. That is the way to go. And I think it's fully capa full capacity because we just put our train on so it won't be carrying anything. And it carries 40. So, yeah, this line is making us some real money now. It's like our first million dollar line. That is very impressive, and I think that is also a very good place to leave this episode. <laughs> I, I bet you wasn't expecting that. We got 250,000. I tell you, no, because we're doing so well, let's put one more train on as a treat. The October train. In fact, that's what I'm going to call this train. It's going to be the October train, because it's special. Borsig. We could buy that already, and let's see, I hope we could buy the entire train before the end of the month. I think that would be a very nice place to leave it. So, Bavarian car is there, we want one, and come on, no, we're not going to get it by the end of the month. That's unfortunate. Ah well, it is what it is. Oh, not quite enough, there we go. So, come on. I want three by the end of the month. You can do it. Come on. Can you feel the anticipation? I can't. I don't think we're going to do it. Oh, oh, we might, we might, we might. Ah! Oh, you're joking. We were five, uh, four grand short. Ah, oh, no. That is just troll heaven now. Look at that. 1.29 million. Yeah, we are. Let's look at our profits. Uh, last year, we spent 250000 on construction costs. New vehicles, 1.4, so that's 1.65. And didn't we sell some vehicles? Uh, sold vehicles? No. Uh, so what was it? 1.65. Yeah, we're making about 1.8 million still but that should hopefully go up so is it still ooh, we're getting close to buying another carriage one second there we go oh <laughs> and again there we go one more i think we'll do it is it still losing us money the howard bay line yes it is but not as much it's up to capacity so fingers crossed cross your fingers your toes and everything else that you've got that line should bounce back. Please bounce back line. <laughs> Just pleading with it. Oh, there we go. That's five. Set line all. Howard Bay, Manhattan. And as a final farewell before we go, look at that, it's right behind this train. They'll space themselves out. This game's very good at spacing out the vehicles. I will give it that. You are, even though we bought in November, we started buying in October. The... October 
Fest. That's what it's going to be called. Just because you can have your, you can have a train named after you. By the way, I know I keep saying this, but you can have a named after you if you want. Anyway, I think November 30th is a good place to leave it, guys. So it's November 30th, 1891. I will see you again in 1892, probably. So peace out, guys, and have a good day. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not.